Well, UCL is a global university and it attracts people from all over the world. So there's all these really bright and uh, creative people that come here and study. And it makes for such a great environment to be in and uh, to interact with. And um, doing what I do in neurology, um, the neuroscience and neurology department in UCL is one of the best in Europe, if not the world, and there's so many great scientists here doing such great work. It just makes for um, a sense to me that to be here and uh, to learn and uh, to contribute to them as well. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, extracurricular activities uh, being offered here, um, and also being such a metropolitan uh, city, that's why I chose UCL. Well, I chose to work on the brain because even though it's always captured people's imagination and um, people are wondering about the mind and the brain and how it works, um, there's still so little that we know about it, about how, what goes wrong or what, what actually goes right with it. So that's what fascinates me because there's so a breadth uh, of areas you can uh, work in the brain and uh, discover more. And um, because there's also an ever-increasing population um, suffering from neurological diseases, and um, it'd be nice to uh, uh, offer some practical solutions and answers to these people, because what we know at the moment is so little, and so a lot more needs to be done. And so I thought that's the, you know, what I'd like to do. Starting when I started my PhD at UCL, I didn't know what to expect or where it was going to take me or what sort of opportunities I'll have to make for myself or will be uh, provided for me. But it's been really exciting. I'm in my final year now and I've had the opportunity to, to travel uh, extensively and network with scientists from all over the world. Um, been to Toronto and Washington DC and New York and Geneva and Italy and various places in the UK. And it's been quite um, manic at times, but it's been really fun. And uh, it's just nice to meet scientists like in in a global perspective and just make, doesn't make you think you're just isolated in your lab every day and you know there's a bigger community around the world you can uh, communicate with. Living in London has been um, a really vibrant and exciting um, city to be in. Um, there's always so many things going on and um, there's a lot of opportunities for studies and leisure um, just being here, I've been here for seven years now and I've had um, so many wonderful experiences. Um, I've had uh, numerous work placements being offered to me uh, in and outside of London. Um, I've got to make, meet many great people um, from various backgrounds because it's such a metropolitan city. It attracts many great scientists from over to come here as well and um, you know, the smartest people from all over the world to come and give talks or give presentations. It's been really great um, opportunity for me to listen to them. Within the Institute of Neurology, um, there's a lot of techniques being used across the field of neuroscience, and um, it's uh, such a um, critical mass of these people doing this work that it makes it easy if our if my project takes me to whichever direction, there's always lots of support and um, staff and equipment and techniques being on offer that I could approach them easily to, to apply to my work. Um, one such example is um, the proteomics unit at the Institute of Child Health. They've got a great facility there and they've been really kind and generous with their time and facilities to, to allow me to, to go there and use uh, their facilities and uh, for my work and they've been really um, kind to explain to me and help me with, to go along. So that's been really great. And um, also the uh, library uh, has uh, great facilities to look for papers. Um, the online library has been really great. And if I can't find any papers whatsoever at the library stuff, are just really nice and they'll go all the way out to help you find or you know, help you point you in the right direction to get those papers you need. Well, um, at the Institute of Neurology, um, we have this committee um, set up to organize the Queen's Quest Symposium. Um, it happens once a year where we have a day to showcase all the great work that's being done by the graduate students and the clinical research fellows that's at the Institute. So uh, that one day, 
we have uh, posted sessions and talks, and so everyone gets to uh, come and meet and mingle and share ideas. So I'm part of the committee that helps to set that day up. And um, also uh, part of trying to uh, get more re representation for the postgraduate uh, LGBT society. So that's been uh, exciting as well. And um, that I volunteered as well to be a, a tutor, a teaching assistant at um, this local school in Islington. Um, uh, teaching maths to year 10 students as well, so that's been very gratifying. Well, because I've already uh, been in London for seven years, I've, it's been easy for me to make friends with people all over the world, and being at UCL, there's just like more of that, it's just an intensified, and there's so many people from everywhere, and it's different societies, and um, it's all uh, the different activities that they uh, arrange. So, it's been great to go along to those events and, and meet more people from all over the world.